Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. In today's lesson, we are going to be finding missing sides and angles of shapes using their corresponding and congruent parts. Let's discuss congruent figures for a little bit, okay? Now, if I had these two triangles and I was told that the triangles ABC were congruent to triangle DEF, then um, I would know that all of their corresponding sides and angles are equal. So let's first look at their sides. AB matches DE, and these two are congruent, as well as these three. And so we use tick marks. That's what we call those. Now the angles are also congruent, and so they match corresponding, correspondingly as well. And so this is how we usually notate the uh, corresponding parts with these arcs. Now let's take a look at a problem, okay? Now you're given this, and I'm going to start with the harder ones first. This is the question it says, these triangles are congruent. What is the measure of angle E? So we're trying to find the measure of angle E. Now, some of you might just assume you can look at the other triangle and figure it out, and you may be correct, but you never want to trust your eyes in geometry. Always make sure mathematically that they are correct. So what I tell my students is, think of this as a puzzle, and you're going to find the missing parts first before uh, you go on. So let's take a look at the left side triangle. And if you notice the sides on the triangle, we have 15, 11, and then a missing one. Now, if you look over at the other triangle, we have this 8 centimeter side, okay? And so 8 centimeters is not in the other triangle, and so it has to be this missing side. And so then looking at the right triangle, we're looking at this missing side, and this one has to be the missing one, the 11 centimeters, okay? So we found our sides. Now let's try to find the angles. So looking at the angles on the left-hand triangle, we've got two of them and we're missing one. But we have this one over here, 42, which doesn't match the others. So it has to be there. So we have the three angles. Now we have to figure out D and E. What are those angles? Now, if all of the sides are going in the same direction around, then it's going to be in the same position. Note that 47 and 91 are going to be um, corresponding there. And so looking at our question, we were asked to find the measure of angle E, which is 91. And so that's our final answer. And so just remember, these are kind of like puzzles trying to figure out missing parts. And you have to use your reasoning skills to do that. And so it takes practice, but once you get used to it, um, it's kind of fun. Now let's take a look at easy problem. Okay. Let's suppose you're given this question. It says triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. What is the measure of angle D? Okay. Now, on the left side, we have all of the sides and angles given, but on the right side, we don't have anything. But that congruency statement at the bottom, this is going to be the trick, okay? Because ABC corresponds to DEF. That means A matches D, B matches E, and C matches F. So, if we're trying to find the measure of angle D, let's look at what D matches to or corresponds to. It corresponds to A. And so there it is. All you have to do is look at that congruency statement and you'll get your final answer. Pretty easy, huh? All right, let's say that you are given this problem right here. And we have triangle ABC is again congruent to DEF. And we're now asked to find FE. And so that is the length of that side right there. And so let's look where it is in the congruency statement. FE is right there. 
and it corresponds to CB. And looking up at our triangle, CB is 9 centimeters, therefore FE is 9 centimeters as well. And so you don't have to even look at the triangles to try to figure it out and risk making a mistake just by using your eyes. You can actually use that congruency statement to help you find them. All right, well, that was quick, but there was a lot in there. You just learned how to find missing sides and angles of congruent shapes by using their corresponding sides. I always encourage you to re-watch the video and pause it if you need to, to better grasp the concept. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.